Thief 2 The Metal Age is a game rooted in isolation, skulking in the shadows, hiding from enemies who are just a breath away, leaping out only when their back is turned, stealing the ill-gotten gains from the wealthy. It makes for an experience where you feel out of your depth, vulnerable, and alone. <sighs> so, um, what if you had friends? The biggest step to make all of this work in the first place is to start with a fresh installation of Thief 2. If you already have Thief installed the way you like it, you still shouldn't skip this step if only because multiplayer is fickle and likes the exact same files across host and client, a single thing out of place will cause problems. If you don't feel like completely wiping your install and you use Steam, you can move your normal Thief directory out from where it lives in Steam apps, have Steam re-download it by verifying your files, and then swap their places. The steps should be similar for GOG, but that comes with an old version of T2Fix, which we will take care of later. But now you have your normal Thief 2 directory and a fresh new one. In the fresh one, open cam.cfg and see what config file is being called. Then go to that file and make it look like this. Finally, when you install New Dark, either manually or with T2Fix, to be able to open FMs, go to cammod.ini and uncomment this line so FM cell opens on startup. Sorry, Angel Loader users, I haven't figured out how to make this work with that, but FM cell will get the job done. Now that we have our separate install ready to go, we can make multiplayer work in one of two ways. To get right into playing with pals, we're just gonna manually install New Dark into this fresh directory. This way we know exactly what's getting installed and avoid any mods that might conflict. It's easy enough, just download from the mirror on the TTLG forums, unpack the New Dark, Contrib, and MP zip files straight into your Thief 2 folder, and you're pretty much good to go. However, to get connected to each other, you'll have to do some LAN emulation with programs like Hamachi or Radman VPN. Both the host and the clients will need to download it, in which case you can just open up a network, have the client join, and then input the IP the program gives you into the text box in-game, and then you're connected. You're now free to play Thief 2 with your friends, although you will be limited to five connections through the VPNs unless you cough up some cash. If you want more players or just don't want to install Hamachi on your machine, there is another way that's a bit more direct, but it's also a bit more involved. All right, so we're gonna take it from the top, starting again with that fresh install. Instead of manually unzipping New Dark into the folder, we're gonna install T2Fix version 1.27e. Make sure you're pointing it at the right directory and install everything at default, except making sure that you check off the multiplayer mod in the list. Don't touch anything else. After that's done, you'll need to crack open the darknet.cfg file. This contains a line of code that lets us buddy up with a global server, which user Sangela has already set up for us. You don't need to download anything off this git unless you wanted to start a global server of your own, but for now we'll just use Sungalas. Just uncommon and change this line, and now all of a sudden you'll have a server browser list. Very nice. At this point, if you're the client in this situation, you don't need to do anything else but wait for the host. But if you are the host, you're gonna need to do some port forwarding. Go to your router settings and open up the ports 5198 and 5199. This will allow you to report back to the global server and actually show up in this list. If you see that you're connecting to the global server, but the client doesn't see you showing up, the connection is being blocked somewhere along the line. But otherwise, it should be smooth sailing from here. You can play OMs and FMs to your heart's content. Mm, sort of. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, Thief 2 multiplayer is a little scuffed. Whoever threw the fucking scouting orb, I'm entering it. <laughs> I don't make footstep sounds anymore. I threw I threw a skull, and now it will not stop making noise. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really? I can't yeah, hear welcome. That. He was on the ground for a while. Now he's he's, he's just floating up very slowly to heaven. It's pretty much just attempting to finish code that was already there as best as possible. The readme even admits, hey, if you were expecting a perfect multiplayer experience, don't. Here's some common problems you might see while playing and how you might be able to fix them. 
No matter how you install this, either the easy or the more involved way, there is a common bug where if you have four players in a lobby, the moment the fourth player joins, it'll kick the other two out and refuse to let them back in. This issue was actually already solved by a user named Figus for the System Shock 2 multiplayer mod. But since they're both Dark Engine games and share a lot of the same DNA, he even found out how to fix it for Thief 2. All you need to do is replace the original EXE file, but if you're not going above three total players, you don't really need this. Another common issue in the T2 fix method is that trying to view the server browser list just crashes the game. I have no idea why this happens, and even though he knows about it, neither does Sungela. He has a proposed solution on his Git, but in reality, this only solves the problem maybe like 50% of the time. But if you already know the IP you're connecting to, you can still just manually input it in the join a game menu, which will work 100% of the time. As far as missions go, OMs typically work as intended for the most part, but FMs are a bit more hit or miss. Authors weren't exactly testing their maps for the fringe multiplayer lobby that may or may not exist, but there's still guidelines that you can follow. The more technical it is, the more more likely multiplayer will start to fall apart. Certain mechanics like teleportation will completely break the session and probably fling somebody into the void of out of bounds, and things like custom textures and complex scripts run the risk of a client picking up a mission critical item and it just completely disappearing forever. Rule of thumb, try to choose FMs that are as close to stock as possible. It might seem a little bit more boring that way, but there are plenty of FMs that fall into this category and it should save you a massive headache. Now, this is only a small handful of some issues you might see. Thief 2 multiplayer may grant you a fresh and new bug that is completely unique to you. With all that being said, should you brave this journey just to make this game from Y2K work in a way it was never expected to? Uh, I think it's worth it. In the hours of testing this out with some friends, I was constantly surprised by how well multiplayer lends itself to base mechanics in the game. I could snipe this dude from here if you want. Nah, I'm fine. I'm watching you lead this guy like fucking miles away from his post. <laughs> Ooh, oh, somebody, there. uh, somebody yeah, I did. Guards. I did. <laughs> That's alright, I was at the other door, so I can now freely go upstairs without them chasing me. Has anyone seen a little health potion, perhaps? Uh, I should have one. I have four, if you come to me. You have four? Oh, uh, please. Can I use one? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> come get y'all juice, dude. Hold on, Scoop. Hey, thanks. Is it the ideal way to play? Of course it isn't. But with the amount of interactions and new ways to approach challenges, I don't think it should be written off so easily. There is potential here. And... Hopefully something could be made out of it, eventually. One day. Anyway. Huge thank you to Vfig, Ekmir, Golden Lumia, Sungela, and Figus for helping me figure out how to make this work as best as possible, and fixing issues that I absolutely could not. And another thank you to my friends who helped playtest this with me for hours, trying out missions, and just generally having a good time. You're all awesome. Thanks for watching.